thank you for that warm reception and welcome one and all to the DGA Women Governors Forum. This is so cool. We are very honored to have eight highly intelligent, highly capable women leaders for the 21st century with us, or what J.D. Vance might call a coven of semi-menstruating witches. <laughs> yeah. Fun. We're gonna have fun. Um, what a what a thrilling and historic week we are having here at the Democratic National Convention. Am I right? Yes. Oh my God. The optimism I have to say of the Harris Walls campaign is contagious. I personally feel like I've been smiling for a month. My face actually hurts. And was anybody else weeping last night for two hours watching the first gentleman and the Obamas speak? Oh my God, wow. We're laughing, I'm crying, I'm fucking exhausted to be honest with you. Um, but we are filled with new hope and joy and I think all of you women on the stage um, are evidence that uh, Martin Luther King was right when he reminded us, reminded us that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. Sometimes we forget that when Trump is trying to bend it back the other way. But you know, 50% of the population is female, in case you didn't know that. And more than 50% of votes cast are cast by women. But even, even though we now have an historic 12 women governors, eight of whom are Democrats, cheers. There's still only 20%, 25% of our governors and 0% of our presidents who are women. So you ladies and Kamala Harris are truly the tip of the spear to change that. And thank you so much to the DGA and the DGA Women's Governors Fund for getting us together to shine a light on all of you, which is what we're going to do. Now, I, I do want to start by saying that I am not a pundit. I'm not a journalist. So this is going to just be a conversation. And I want you all to think of me today as a cheerleader and a friend and of course, an award-winning actress, <laughs> first and foremost. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, no acting in politics. So, 